I'm Leslie Schub. I'm an associate professor in the Princeton Chemistry Department. I'm a 2019 Beckman Young investigator. My proposal was entitled Designing Magnetic Topological Materials for Computing-Based Application. Really our goal was to use chemical concepts and intuition from chemistry to understand those types of materials and learn how to design them more efficiently in the future. As I began, I think there were only very limited chemists who entered the field. And so we formulate rules and understanding that made it easier. And I think now there are much more chemists out there trying to dip their toe into the field of topological matters using those guidelines and rules that we formulated over the period of this funding. So the big mission of my lab is to chemistryfy quantum materials, meaning we use chemical logic to understand when a material is a quantum material. And in this work, we specifically did it for topological matter. Topological materials is an umbrella term for certain types of materials and where electrons can behave very differently. And so this might be useful for novel types of computing-based applications different from using silicon that we've done so far. So there are different types of topological materials. Some have very special electrons that run basically like on highways so they cannot turn around and others might be of interest to use and apply in a very specific kind of qubit for quantum computers. The applications are still very far-fetched but we have a lot of promises out there so right now our task is really to understand what are the realms of possibilities we can get with these materials to make it into a device. With our work we were trying to accomplish is to really take a step back and understand when is a material topological and can we have a simple guiding concepts to understand when this is possible and then use that to find the material of the future. The way this project works is that we first formulate a theoretical concept lining out how a chemical structure or arrangement of atom would relate to a topological electronic structure. Then our experimentalists go to the lab and try to make the materials that are predicted these ways. For this, they have to seal chemicals in an evacuated quartz container to make samples of the predicted materials. Once they synthesize, we use our machine that we have in the basement of our lab, which are to measure physical properties or magnetic properties to probe the electronic and magnetic properties of these systems and confirm our prediction. When we measure electronic and magnetic properties, what is important is that we can cool down the samples to very low temperatures and that we can also apply a very large magnetic field of up to 9 Tesla to probe how electrons behave when this magnetic field is applied. My research on the Beckman grant in the Shoop lab was for new material synthesis. I've always been passionate about making new materials and see what they can do. In particular, I was trying to make new topological materials. Topological compounds have electrons that don't behave like normal electrons. They almost move like particles of light. They can have other um, different properties related to superconductivity and other things, but we don't know how they behave in real solid state materials. So they can act as model systems that help us understand the universe better. And for me, being able to make compounds, discover new things, and then actually seeing what they do and having all these different cool properties, that's really exciting. I would love to take this opportunity to thank the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation for supporting us for the past four years. This Young Investigator grant was very, very important to get my research group started and brought us to the place we are at today. The reason why I came to the United States from Germany was that I was always amazed about the positivity and the creative energy of research in the United States. And I think Dr. Arnold Backman's work and legacy clearly embodies this kind of spirit. Dr. Arnold O. Backman's, one of his famous quotes um, says to hire the best people and get out of their way. And this is exactly what I did with the funding provided by the Arnold and Mabel Backman Foundation. Four postdocs that worked on these projects over the past four years, all of them now have found academic positions and are already or are going to start their own research groups in the near future. And this is something I'm immensely proud and happy to see happening. With the support of the Arnold and Mabel Beckman Foundation, we're able to grow the research laboratory immensely. Here's a picture of a group and compared to three years later, see how many more talented people we were able to recruit. And this is largely because we were able to publish papers that inspire people who then want to apply to my research group for further work. Thank you.
Because this grant was heavily impacted by COVID-19 and the associated lockdowns and shutdowns of our labs, we actually shifted gear a little bit, but I think in the end it was a positive because I decided to recruit a theorist to this project who will not be affected by the inability to go into the laboratory. And so because of this, the project had a much larger um, theoretical impact than I originally anticipated, but I think this was absolutely necessary to line out the results solidly as we ended up doing in the end. The results we're most proud about are a few JAX papers that we had in which we line out these chemical rules very detailed and we first did it for uh, chemical crystal structures where atoms are arranged in squares and we later expanded it to patterns of corner sharing triangles of atoms in a crystal structure and also crystal structures where atoms form linear arrangements. In addition, we had a paper in Science Advances um, showing how in these materials with square nets that we were able to combine those three properties, high mobility electrons, magnetism and exfoliatability of a sample. The biggest impact our research funded by this project had is that we formulated rules that are so simple that we managed to simplify a very complicated concept. And our papers and results are already used in institutions throughout the US for as teaching material because it broke it down to such simple concepts. In addition, we introduced some materials that are studied in laboratories worldwide right now for their exotic and interesting properties and a lot of follow-up publications have appeared where our materials have been further investigated because of their properties. Within the past four years, we only scratched the surface of what is possible. We haven't formulated rules for all materials in the world yet and how to predict the electronic structures. We also have, are far away from having discovered all the interesting materials for the electronic properties. So this is really a lifetime job that is continuing and we only got started over the past funding period. Thank you.